There's a big difference between guilt and responsibility, after all. Guilt is something you feel for what you've done, and responsibility is something you take because of the kind of person that you are. They're not, strictly speaking, synonyms. And so when we inherit the legacy, not of 36 and a half hour old gumbo, but the legacy of institutionalized racial and ethnic discrimination, oppression, privilege, and subordination, when we inherit the legacy of of sexism and patriarchal oppression, the legacy of economic injustice, the legacy of straight supremacy, all the different forms of supremacy and oppression and suppression that exist within our cultures all across the globe. When we inherit those, and on this continent, we inherit that legacy of white supremacy. Let us be clear. Let us name it and call it what it is. We inherit a legacy of white supremacy. We have to be responsible for how we find it, not because we are to blame for having created it, but because we're the only ones left to do it, you see. We have to take responsibility for things as we find them, even if we don't create them. At least in theory, that's what we do with ecological destruction and environmental damage. You and I did not individually, I assume, go and belch toxic waste into the air, inject it into the soil, dump it into the waters on this planet, but somebody did, and we're now living with it. So we either clean it or we can sit around and say, well, I didn't do it, you know, I'm innocent. It really wasn't me. You can't blame me. But that doesn't really take care of the problem. If you ever become the CEO of a corporation, I don't know why you'd want to, but if you do, if you do, you won't be able to come in on the first day of work and say to your board of directors, you know, I can't wait to make use of all the assets you people uh, were able to get before I came on board, all the assets you were able to develop, all the revenue you were able to generate. I can't wait to take advantage of that. But as for all those outstanding debts that you ran up, like your bills and the loans that you took out so that you could grow the company, no, I don't have any intention of paying those. That was the last CEO. You really should have gotten him or her to do that. You know, I'm new. I'm innocent. I just got here, you see. It's a difference between guilt and responsibility. It's very difficult, I think, for sometimes people in dominant social groups to really understand that and to recognize that we have to respond to the world as we find it and to deal with the injustices that we inherit, not because we're to blame for them, but because we're here and somebody has to deal with them. That's the first thing that trips us up, but it's not the only thing that trips us up in trying to have a conversation about something like racism. The second thing is that when we have the conversation about race, it's not just that people want to assume that that's somebody else's job or somebody else's responsibility. It's also that even when people are very well-meaning, and I think most people are,